Former Trump White House senior counselor Kellyanne Conway recently spoke with South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem about possibly banning President Joe Biden from the ballot in South Dakota. The idea was floated just days after the Colorado Supreme Court's decision to bar former President Donald Trump from the Colorado ballot. During an appearance on Fox News, Conway asked Governor Noem if she believed she had the power to prevent Biden from appearing on the state ballot. She specifically mentioned potential violations of the 14th Amendment, such as unfreezing assets for Iran or allowing terrorists to cross the southern border. Governor Noem responded, stating that she did not believe she had the authority to do so, adding that's what is so interesting. Governor Noem went on to emphasize the importance of the court system and its role as a check on the federal government. She explained that the court's decisions are meant to balance the powers of the executive and legislative branches. She expressed trust in South Dakota state laws and the state's constitution. Governor Noem also expressed pride in the governance of her state, telling Conway, I am very proud of what we do here in South Dakota. In addition, Governor Noem expressed her hope that other states would follow a similar approach and not allow liberal judges to manipulate the rules of the game to suit their political interests. She urged the Supreme Court to take swift and decisive action to reverse the lower court's decision and ensure that the voices of the American people are heard. The Fox News clip was shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, where Conway was criticized for her hypocrisy for looking to ban Biden from certain state ballots while calling the recent Colorado ruling a threat to democracy. One user shared the clip, writing, Conway went from crying wolf to huffing and puffing herself real quick. Another user commented, so we all can agree that these people don't actually care about democracy, right? They'll literally claim something is the most evil thing imaginable and then do it themselves in the same breath. The conversation occurred during Governor Noem's appearance on Fox News, where she filled in for host Sean Hannity. As OK previously reported, Conway recently faced backlash for her comments about liberals driving electric cars to go get abortions every morning. The Democrats wake up every morning, and when they look at the calendar, the iPhone says January 6, 2021, the date never changes, Conway said on a Fox News panel. And then they get an electric vehicle and go get an abortion. I just described the Democratic Party in seven seconds. That's it. That's what I see. But it's always January 6th.